Hi everybody, it's Gina Bacar, and I'm the author of The Runaway Girl, a Titanic love story. Now we're into part three of what happens to Eve O'Reilly before she boards the Titanic in Queenstown. She's in a DOS house, and, well, just take a listen. What did you expect, lassie? Flory said when she saw Ava's nose wiggle with distaste. A royal manor house. She shifted the baby from one hip to another. I imagine the likes of you have seen your share of fancy bedrooms. She chuckled. Take it or leave it. Four shillings a night with hot porridge in the morn. Um, Jeremiah Cobb quoted me three shillings. Ava folded her arms against her chest. I see you're one of Cobb's girls. <laughs> I should have known. Three shillings. She held out her hand. In advance. Ava turned around and unpinned the handkerchief containing her money from inside her chemise. A trusting soul, aren't you? She smirked. Oh, I've had too many of my boarders disappear out the window. Come the first breath of dawn. What happens that night in the Doss House in Queenstown, Ireland, when Ava tries to get a bit of sleep? The Titanic will be leaving early the next morning. She has to be there on time. But something almost keeps her from getting aboard the ship. Find out what it is in segment four. This is Gina Bacar. Oh, don't forget, put a little romance in your life. Read a romance novel, and why not make it a Boldwood book? I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.